Welcome back, squad. Deskles okay. here, Three. and we are about to jump into another episode of The Dreamer. If you guys are enjoying the content, don't forget to check out other videos. Let me know how you like them in the comments, and don't forget to smash your face on that like button. Without wasting any more time, let's charge into another episode. Here we go. I'm here. I'm here. A little bit upset with myself, guys. So I want to apologize in advance. I'm now just realizing that whenever I went into, uh. <laughs> I went into god mode so I could take a picture of the mountain for my thumbnail. Uh, got all my food back. So, I want to apologize, guys. It wasn't intentional. I wasn't even thinking about it. I was 100% just trying to get a photo for the, uh, for the thumbnail. So, I want to apologize in advance. My bad. I don't think it's really going to do anything other than help me not lose health every second. I still have enough food on me in order to survive. not as, I don't know, pertinent as it was before. How much rock do I have? A little bit. Probably not going to be anytime soon that I'm going to the trader. The whole base is my only... Seriously, it's gonna be the only thing keeping me alive. Get rid of some of these hillsides over here. Give me a better outlook. I'm just not sure how much cobble I'm 100% gonna need. I might go in that house and break apart whatever I can find. Maybe I'll do that tomorrow. I wonder if I break apart a stove with a hand, with an axe, is it going to give me any resources? I'm kind of screwed. I need a pipe. Definitely need a pipe. Should probably get a little bit of wood too. My shovel breaks again. I'm gonna go ahead and hit some trees a few times. Start making things. Just have nothing to sell to the trader. I could probably do uh, quests. Okay, actually, that's another good one. So, guys, if I'm allowed to use the trader, am I allowed to do quests for him? And some quests you're familiar with is burying, which would not really not be looting. That would be once ahead, once again finding buried treasure. So I can see how I'm being fine. But what about the car carrier one? Would I be allowed to look in a house for that without grabbing any loot? I have a biased opinion because obviously I'm playing this series. But I am looking for your guys' advice before I actually head to the trader. So I need you guys to let me know in the comments if that's going to be a feasible way for me to make money. Where I can just get that quest all together. If you 
guys know, I don't always have a say on what missions he gives me. So if majority of those missions are that, I'm going to need to complete those in order to open more. Do you guys want me to just stop where I'm at? 600. Keep a little bit of clay on me. I have to throw down some of these uh, plants. Five. can at least do good damage to him. I'm planning on almost concreting the entire mountain, guys. That's how in-depth This is going to be a dwarf-looking base. Almost like Skyrim. Before I go in, Let's see what I got here. Mother load, absolutely. If I can get about extra two hundred. The other thing that's really going to suck is I'm not going to be able to ever have a mining helmet. <laughs> that's going to suck. How much ammo fat do I have? How much cloth? Seven? It's worth it. Yeah, that's the other thing too. I'm going to get demolished by screamers. There's going to be so much heat coming from my base. I need pipe. I need pipe in order to make a forge. I can't believe I have 22 eggs. That's amazing. Got 72 meat. Got a lot of leather. Where am I not going to break? Pipe right here for right now. 500. Maybe I'll do that. Complete a quest, go to the trader tomorrow. Get a quest or two, and then from there buy a wrench if he has one. So I can start taking apart maybe stove, cars, find some pipe, and maybe an engine or anything like that. Because I'm going to definitely rely on technology in order to save me. This is just the entrance. You're going to end up mining a lot deeper. This thing's going to go down far. This thing's going to be wide. Hopefully it gives you guys a little bit of a idea of maybe something you guys want to try. So here's a difference that I did make, a change. So as of right now with the whole food situation and with me not being able to loot or anything along those lines, I did make airdrops once a day. That ends up being too much. As you guys have to realize, whenever it comes down to medical supplies or food or anything along those lines, I'm pretty much screwed. So with that being said, if that ends up being too much, then I will end up making it three days and so forth for the time being. I just don't want this series to be me basically doing things that aren't really a part of the series that I want to do, like hunting the entire time. Yes, that's going to add a whole difficulty where, hey, I'm never going to be able to keep up with the base, but I really do want this to be a permadeath season on me being a dwarf, where I'm basically making a dwarf ruin or a, <laughs> a big old base, underground base full of awe and wonder. Now I am putting my bed down just so I know where I'm coming back to, guys. I have to make storage here soon, but that would, that's also going to be after I get this relatively to the size I want. I don't even know if I want to put a door on any of this, because I don't want the zombies digging down because of that door. There's a lot to consider. The first couple hordes, I think up to day 21, is really going to give me a good perspective of where they're coming from what they're going to do. Okay. 
it might end up only doing tomorrow. Seriously, it might end up everything I'm doing is getting money from the trader. Any missions he has in his quest. He's gonna be his little dwarf, his little mercenary. He's gonna be a dwarf mercenary. I wish the first uh, ore I found was iron. That would have been pretty awesome. I'll, t I'll take nitrate. I think it's really gonna break my soul, my little, my little heart over here. It's breaking everything apart. That literally <laughs> is gonna have uh, loot in it. That's gonna be hard. But it is what it is. One good thing is I'm not gonna waste any points on lucky looter. Maybe I'll waste some points on bartering. Bartering. That's all intelligence, so I'm good there. Intelligence and probably strength are going to be my two key skills here. It probably makes storage. Make one for right now. Don't I need? I don't need this. This is. Off to the trader. I go for first. There's that trader. 700 meters away. What? What the hell? Is, what? 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 No. No. Or is there so many of them? It's not good, guys. Not good. I hate vultures. Literally three. Four. Four. I'm screwed. Check. <laughs> I killed it. That was luck. That was luck. That sounds like a crawler. Yeah. You're gonna have to hold. give me one second here, buddy. Honey, yes. How do you hit me? Look like the grass. And Nothing. All right, squad, this is where we're going to end it for today. We made it to the trader, so stand fast to see what happens next. Remember, if you guys are enjoying the content, go ahead and leave me a comment. Smash your face on that like button. Go ahead and subscribe, follow. I should be on Twitch every Tuesday and Thursday around 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Remember to follow me on Twitter to get those updates of when I'll be on and any new content that's in route. All right, guys, as always, I'm going to take a little bit of R&R, &R and we'll be back to charge into the next episode. This is Destacles, signing off.